Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I'd love if you'd hit that subscribe button before leaving so you don't miss any of my future videos. So today's video is all about Bare Minerals. There is a product that I have yet to try from them. Um, I've been using Bare Minerals for over 10 years. Ever since they came out with their first powder foundations, I was using them and loving them. I love their blush and their bronzer and their eyeshadows. Um, but the product that I have not used yet is their Mineral Veil. Now, their original Mineral Veil I have used and loved for many years. This, however, is the Hydrating Mineral Veil. And although this is not new to their line, it is new to me. I've never used a hydrating mineral veil, but I kind of figured with um, after summer's done and winter coming up, I was just curious to see how this plays with your skin. Um, does it feel refreshing? Like what exactly does it feel like? Is it worth it? Um, does it look as good as the regular mineral veil? That sort of thing. I am going to be using for my demo the Bare Minerals Foundation Stick. This is newer to their line. I did a um, dupe video where there's a dupe that is very close to this foundation stick. And if you have not seen that, I will link it down below so you can watch that video. But I really, really like this foundation stick. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start by applying this all over. This is in the shade 01 Opal. Now, I do wanna see, even though this video is not about brushes, I do have a new brush in my line um, that I just got that I wanna see how it works with this foundation. Um, I usually do not like using brushes for a foundation because I find them to be very streaky. I don't like the way that they apply, but my um, e.l.f. blush, blush, no, my e.l.f. brush that I was using, um, I don't know if it's just getting old or I just don't like the way it applies. So I, go, I went ahead and picked up the It Cosmetics when there was like a 20% off at Ulta. So I just wanna see, I'm going to use it on this side, how it applies because I've heard so many wonderful things about this brush. And I know putting it on with a brush sometimes can be quicker and easier. You get more coverage with it, but I just have never really liked brush application. Um, one thing about this foundation, if you have not seen the video that I did on this foundation, um, is that it is so super smooth. It is like mousse. It just melts right into your skin. It is so soft and easy to apply. It is beautiful. Oh, I like the way that it's applying with this, this brush. It looks very even. I only see one spot right here that doesn't look very even. Let me go ahead and kind of swirl it in. I'm not really seeing any streakiness with it like I used to do with my e.l.f. brush. Maybe that one just isn't cutting the bill anymore. I really like the way that that's applying. Well, good, since I own it. Okay, on this side, I'm gonna use a sponge, and I just wanna compare the two. I already know how the sponge works with this foundation, because I've used it many times before. Like I said, I wasn't really a fan of the e.l.f. brush with it. Now, of course, the sponge does sheer it out some more, so you can see um, on both sides that this is a little more sheer than with the brush. But looking at it as I'm applying it, besides the fact that the brush has more coverage, it actually looks like it's going on the same as the sponge. Like I'm really impressed with this brush application. All right, I do have some more um, discoloration on this side and some breakouts so I'm going to put um, a little bit more and then I'm gonna put some right on to the breakouts. And I think I'm going to use the brush because I'm actually really liking the way the brush looks on the other side to make it even out. So that's a first for me because I generally do not go for brushes. So if you are on the hunt and you are someone who likes um, makeup brushes uh, to put on foundation, this is an impressive brush. I'm liking the way that it is applying the foundation. I know this video is not about this brush, but I'm impressed. Look at that. I like it. Okay, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try out the Mineral Veil, which is new to me. This is the hydrating one. It does look a little darker than what I'm used to my original Mineral Veil. I thought it was more of a, a whitish color. 
Um, I do remember it having a little bit of color, but this seems to have a lot of color. I mean, look at that. Ooh, I'm not quite sure that this is going to be a very good shade match for me. Um, it didn't have any other shades that I know of. This was the only one at Ulta that was there for the hydrating. So I'm just going to go ahead with my big e.l.f. brush and put it on there and just tap it on and hope for the best. I have to say, it doesn't look like it's changing the color of my foundation at all, which is good. Let's try on the side. I'm not noticing like any hydrating property to it though. It is very, I don't know if you can see this. It is, see that? How it just like smokes out. It is very um, powdery and it just kind of like evaporates. It's definitely um, blurring my pores and making everything just tapping it in more smooth. And I'm kind of impressed, like even though it's this deeper color, I'm not noticing that it's really changing the foundation color at all. I think it's adding a little bit of color, but not like much. What do you think? What are your thoughts? I don't really think that it changed it. Um, I can't really say that it feels any different than any other powder though. I don't feel like a a mist or like a hydrating feeling all of a sudden on my face. It feels like any other powder. It feels lightweight though. It doesn't feel like heavy or anything. Uh, I feel like I have a hair on my nose, but I don't feel like, I don't know, I guess I was expecting it to feel kind of like, almost like a smooth, like kind of wet, like refreshing feeling and I'm not feeling that. It just is like any other powder I've ever put on before. Um, but it is very, very lightweight. So I guess that's a plus. Okay, this is a color I've had forever, which is really great. Oh, I wanted to tell you that um, I was watching Shelby Wilson's videos and she used to work for Bare Minerals and she was saying any loose um, Bare Mineral products are non-expiring, which I absolutely love because I've had this forever. So I'm really glad to hear that it's non-expiring. And um, she used to work for Bare Minerals, so that's good to know. Um, also, if I'll link her videos down below, Shelby Wilson's, I think 27, I'm 37. Um, if you do go over and um, you start watching her channel, please tell her that I sent you. She has no idea who I am, but I enjoy watching her videos and she did one on Bare Minerals recently. Um, so I would love it if you told her that I sent you over. But this color is so, so pretty. Let me show you. This one is true. This is an all over face color, but you can use it as blush. You can use it as eyeshadow. It is so gorgeous. Look at that. So, so pretty. I just love their products. Okay. I'm going to use that probably as one of my eyeshadows. I just want to show you the ones that I have. This is one of my favorite blushes. This is in Vintage Peach. Please, Bare Minerals, never stop making this. It is the perfect color. It is a great dupe for the NARS Orgasm. I love this color. So right here is the Vintage Peach blush. It is so so pretty. It's funny, it looks more pink on my hand, but on my face it looks more like a pinky peach. Okay. Then let me just show you some of the eyeshadows. I'll do them on my other hand. Um, I don't know if these colors that they still make them anymore. I know that they make eyeshadows, but I'm just not sure of these colors. So this one is Bare Skin. I used to have a lot more of their eyeshadows. I've just used them up over the years, and these are what I have left. This is a beautiful, like, beachy bronze. You see that? How pretty that is? Okay, and then I have Heart. This is a lighter purple shade. You can see that right there. It's like a raisin, but a lighter purple. And then the other one that I have is Devotion. And this one is a much deeper purple. More like a plum. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. One of my favorite ones, I think, um, was called Black Pearl. It's like this shimmery, it looks really great as a brow highlight. Okay, and while I'm doing color swatches, I have to talk to you guys about, now that my hands are all completely messy, their bronzer. If you have fair skin, oh my gosh, this is the Invincible Bronze in the shade Fair to Light. I absolutely love this bronzer. And I am not a big fan of bronzer because I feel like it makes me look orange. This does not. This is a nice, cool, like perfect brown, but it is so um, opaque when it goes on your skin. So I personally like that. I know some people, that's why they don't like it. Let me see if I can get to show you over here. See, 
I'm gonna try to build it up a little bit. It is so, so sheer but pretty and it looks so natural on the skin. So if you are fair, this is a really great bronzer. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with it. You're not gonna look like an orange pumpkin. Um, you're not gonna look too brown. It's a really great color for you to get as bronzer. Okay, with that being said, sorry. Um, first, I think I'm going to do my brows before I start with my eyes. So I'm just gonna use my Benefit in shade three. Just gonna fill in the little areas that are a little bit sparse. I'm just drawing like hair-like strokes. right into my natural shape of my brows, not changing the shape, just to darken it up and make them look a little bit more filled in. And then I just go with the spoolie end and brush them up and out to blend the color in to make it look all natural. And it doesn't look like I had any product that my eyebrows just naturally look like that. Okay. So I think for color, just to show you, I'm going to use the True, the All Over one as one of my colors of my eyeshadow. It's just so pretty. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with um, one of my eyeshadow brushes. Now, I will tell you the one thing about Berry Minerals is that it is messy um, because they're loose powders. So you're gonna have fallout, you're gonna have messy, but they last all day, they don't crease. They look so pretty. I just love the colors. I mean, I'm just gonna put this on this like half of my eye. Just look at how stunning these colors are. If you want like a glowy, just natural glowing, beautiful look, I'm telling you, their products give you that. I mean, look at that. The color payout is amazing. And to be honest with you, if you do it slow and careful, I don't have any fallout. Okay. And then on the other side, I'm gonna use a slightly darker color, but I'm not gonna go super deep. I'm going to use the heart, which is these, that more of that plum kind of raisin color, the lighter one. I'm just gonna lay, this is like one of my favorite colors. On there, it looks so pretty, especially during the fall time. It really makes any hazel eyes really pop out. I'm just gonna lay that on there. Now, I will tell you that the ones that I'm using today are shimmery, so if you are not into shimmery shadows, um, this would not be for you. But look how pretty that is. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the other end that's clean and I'm gonna just do circular motions to kinda blend those in and up because I'm not gonna use any other shadows. I'm just sticking with Bare Minerals, so I'm not using any other products besides of course, my brows and mascara that are not their minerals. Um, so I didn't really wanna use anything that wasn't for this video. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to curl my lashes. This is something that I always do. Now I will tell you to ignore the mascara I'm using today. Um, and I say that because my eyes were having an allergy reaction to something I was trying out and I had to throw out all of my mascara, which the L'Oreal Primer Mascara are my absolute favorite, and I had to toss them and they were pretty new tubes. So this happened to be one that I had that I hadn't used, so I'm using it because I know that it's not what caused me to have a breakout, um, but it's not really good mascara. It um, flakes. Um, I did a video on this as well in my Mascara Madness series. I mean, it looks fine, but throughout the day, it definitely flakes and um, gets on my skin and I just am not a huge fan, especially when there's so many different types of mascaras out there. Don't bother with it, but I figured I would just use this one up during the summer when I'm not really doing anything other than doctor's appointments and cleaning the house. Um, and then I'll go and buy my favorite mascara when I go back to teaching. So, I mean, if you look, I mean, it does give, it's not really full, but it does give long eyelash, eye, long eyelashes. Like, I like the way it looks, but halfway through the day, you start getting flaking and stuff, so I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to use my Vintage Peach. You know what? Let's do the True All Over, because I always use Vintage Peach. So, I'd love for you guys to see 
um, a different color. So let's use the Chew All Over as my blush because you really can use these for like anything. All right, I think I got way too much on my brush. Let's see how deep this is gonna be. And you just kind of pat it right on the cow. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, it just gives you, you don't need a highlight when you use this product um, or really any of their blushes because there's a highlight built in with how, be look how beautiful that is. See, you don't need a highlight. So you're like skipping an entire step when you use their products because they automatically give you that just glow. It's just beautiful. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off my look um, that needs to be blended a little bit better because it is a little bit darker, deeper of a blush. There we go. All right. I am going to end off with the Moxie Boxum, um, not Boxum, Bare Minerals Moxie um, lip gloss. I will tell you this has a minty scent to it. Um, it is sticky. So if you do not like sticky, this would not be the lip gloss for you. But it feels very refreshing on your lips. Kind of like what I was expecting the hydrating veil to feel like. Just refreshing. I didn't feel that. It's not super sticky, but it is it's tacky. It has like a tackiness to it compared to other lip glosses that I've worn. Every now and then you feel like your lips are like tacky or sticking to each other, but it's not like super, super sticky. Um, but it does, it has that nice refreshing kind of minty. Um, so I wear this every now and then, but it's not the one that I go to all the time. So this is the final product. Um, I love Bare Minerals, just how glowy and beautiful. And a lot of people don't think of Bare Minerals as being a glowy um, or like natural radiant makeup because they think of it being, you know, powder and very matte and it's really not. It's um, very beautiful on the skin. I just love their products. Um, but I have to say, like, the whole reason why I did this video was because I've never tried the hydrating mineral veil. Um, I really do think that, the, I'm gonna have to look, that this color is a lot different than the regular mineral veil. But I don't really see a change um, in the way that my makeup looks. Um, I can't say that it's anything like spectacular. I don't really feel, I mean, looking in the mirror, I don't feel like my face feels any more hydrated than it, it usually is. Um, I don't feel like it's dry. So, I mean, I guess that's good because I did, I mean, this foundation is pretty creamy. It's like a mousse texture. Um, and then adding powder, and I know powder can make you feel dry. Um, and I don't feel dry. It feels very lightweight. Um, but I can't say it's what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting that kind of like burst of like hydration and like, oh, this feels really good. And I didn't feel that. So um, maybe, um, I don't know, if you have mature skin, because I know a lot of people say powder is not a mature skin um, friendly like product. A lot of people feel like it shows a lot of um, texture and things. I don't feel that with this one. I feel that it's so incredibly fine milled and how you kind of saw it like poof off the brush and everything, I think that this might be a really good option for someone with mature skin to try um, because of it being that consistency. But otherwise, I don't really see it being much different in how it applies or looks on your face or feels than other powders, but it definitely looks blurring. Um, and it definitely is very, 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 I mean, this is more fine milled than like It Bye Bye Bores because it just like poofs. Like I, I was trying to show it, I don't know if you guys could see it. Um, so that might be a really great option if you have mature skin and you want that blurring effect, but not where it, you know, is showing everything. Um, so yeah. So I thank you so much for watching my video and I hope that you give it a thumbs up if you liked it and that you've already subscribed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.